Well, shit, I call you Barry, nigga. Your interviews get dumb and dumb, Lloyd and Harry, nigga. Talking all this shit like you really try to battle, nigga. You'll be face to face with death, staring down a barrel, nigga. I'm Barry, Adrian, Reese, ARM already said you're a ratchet play in the streets. Philly don't even love you, so now you hating on we. You used to run a silly, you aggravated with me, Lord. Come on, let them be hope, you can be bleak. You will still see some money, though, every day of the week. When the last you heard your record play in the streets, your career died, cause Swiss stops sending you beats, nigga. Disrespect my culture, I don't play this shit. If you don't mean it sincerely, don't fix your mouth to say this shit. Real though, I got my own league, that's a paper flip. Give your song to Mr. See them faggot niggas play your shit. Cash, you ain't been hot since Hotel with Kelly. Who's the best in Philly, Gilly, Miko, or Melly? But where's Cash? I guess he's still in the telly. Career going down, down, that nigga still on his Nelly. You the only nigga feeling that you spit hard on every single track with your 2006 balls. You industry niggas is so crisscross. Hating on the battlers and we ain't even dish y'all. But you about to be pissed off. We don't want you back. You cannot cross over. You ain't Chris Paul. Get your stupid ass smoke like a menthol. I knock your little ass out for getting involved. Last for these niggas tried to jump back in the ring, nigga. Got assassinated talking like the king, nigga. Go ask Reed Dollars just what I mean, nigga. Or ask C. Ness if you ain't seen, nigga. Cassidy, why you gotta play with me? You couldn't hang on a plantation during slavery. You washed up for real. Not who you claim to be. You be the murder king. It's your boy DJ Academics and well god damn enough of that battle rappers can't rap shit because we just heard that that was lyrically scorching and now I don't know too much about the history of Arsenal the Rebel but apparently he's one of the top viewed battle rappers that's within that culture now he got my respect because I'm a true believer that you have to marry all that battle rap clout all those lyrics that you're speaking with exposure that you're also getting with hot songs. You got to make full songs and you got to you got to really marry both of them to be a complete hip hop artist and a true hip hop entertainer. Now, while Arsenal was dissecting Cassidy over the 0 to 100 instrumental like he's in a fucking biology class, I was doing the Schmurder dance cuz we all know the 0 to 100 that's my favorite beat right now. And even though I was over all the millions of remixes already put out, the last one I was done with was Meek Mill, because Meek Mill killed it, rap nigga got my chain snatch, I like that shit. However, I gotta say, I don't know if this is a beef, I don't know if this is a battle, I don't know if it's gonna be a back and forth with this songs, but it's clearly 1-0 Arsenal. Now, so Cassidy, he made some legitimate points, and we gotta acknowledge those. He said, your flow is kinda trapped in 2006. This is very true. Cassidy's flow even though it's very nostalgic and we love it because we think about those days when he was really killing it it's dated and it's so sad to say that you had an easy opponent we thought Cassidy had an easy opponent when he went against Meek Mill everyone's like yo Cassidy's one of the nicest ever he's gonna demolish Meek Mill that wasn't even the case if you were not destroying Meek Mill and you're supposed to be one of the greats I don't know, and I'm not going to say Meek Mill is any easy cookie, but still, Cassidy, or I, I predicted Cassidy to demolish Meek Mill. He didn't, and to keep it real, most even say, and I even sometimes lean in that direction from time to time, Meek Mill kind of put his foot in your ass. So, if you're going to get back at this dude, Arsenal the Rebel, listen, Cassidy, as a negotiator, I'm here to advise your career. It's kind of floundering, but I'm here to give you some advice. Let's not do it on any type of SoundCloud or SoundClick homegrown producers, please. Rap over an already out existing hot beat. Because the last couple weak and flabby and sick beat that you try to spit this and Meek Mill with, they, they came off so weak it didn't even matter what you were saying. It didn't even matter. But to be fair, I will say that Cassie does come from the battle culture. He had Freeway crying like 10 years back. Asking for an instrumental once he delivered a verbal ether to him. And we all saw that on YouTube. He's on YouTube again for having 15 plus minute videos just straight freestyling or supposedly freestyle. Those are absolutely legendary. But in 2014, it's not what have you done for me lately. It's what are you doing for me right goddamn now. Now, so will Cassie respond and who do you guys think will win? Because to keep it real, I like Cassidy. I like a lot of his older stuff. I'm still waiting for him to get back to that form. Maybe he's just a nigga that just fell off or he's not keeping up with the times. As I said, hip-hop changes. You got to keep up with it. Your flow in 2003, it's not going to work in 2014. 
if you're not evolving while the culture is evolving, you're really not as good as you really think. Because the greatest artists, they evolve with time. See Jay-Z, see even Nas. You have to adjust somehow. If the culture is leaving you behind, maybe you weren't that fucking great. You were just great at one thing during one era. Now, the same thing applies to sports. If you're only great when niggas weren't allowed to dunk, you're probably not that great. If you're only great when there wasn't a three-point line, you're probably not that great. If you're only great when you could stand in the fucking paint for half an hour, you're probably not that great. If you couldn't evolve with the times, or if the game evolved and then you pretty much diminished, it means that you were great within one time period, but let's not act like your greatness transcends any type of era. Now, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that Cassidy will respond? Do you think he'll respond with a hot song? Do you think that Cassidy has just lost it and he's a nigga that's just dated? And what do you think about Cassidy? I think it, it, it kicked off this whole little skirmish between them by saying that he wouldn't battle rap for 40 grand. Most people saying Cassidy's not getting 40 grand for a show now. He's probably getting 5 to 10. Do you think that he was right for saying that? Or do you think that once you've elevated to having a Billboard single, you should never be doing battle rap again? Now, you guys get in the comment box. It's your boy, DJ Academics. Make sure you like, subscribe, definitely share. I'm out.